Hi, uh, this is Srinivas Tamada, founder of Nihilism.info. Today I'm going to talk about my upcoming post uh, about, you know, PayPal Express Check or the PHP. This basically works uh, mostly client side than I do the background process. Basically, we are sending a PayPal request and it PayPal written back some payment details. And for the confirmation, like we again, uh, we actually three and four, actually the three, two steps it actually you know cross verify the thing because mostly client said people may change the numbers of your order and once it got confirmed and i'm making the order here uh, that's why the diagram is little you know big thing but let let me show you the demo uh, live demo this is connected with the sandbox so the password is one two three four five six and once you use a logged in it will go to the home page and it will display all the user products like right now I added just two products once you can anything you can order it like go to the order based on the product ID I'm bringing the details and then here I'm just included the PayPal checkout right now it works with a sandbox account this is the username and password let me create a order now I mean the payment process Yeah, here it will show the dummy thing. This is a sandbox. This is not live. So you can pay like. So now what happening is once I click the payment button, we did some process and we cross verified it and we checked this actual number is three or not. And then only we made this order. So that is what this tutorial about. Uh, I'm going to publish this uh, tomorrow. So so this is what the database thing here is the user details uh, complete like user information will store here all the products will be here and then there is a relation like you know for user and products based on the foreign key it will store the order id and all so let me show the code uh, this is what the uh, code is like i explained in this tutorial like uh, you can see the preview ah uh, yeah so a basic thing and uh, I'm going to replace this video with the new one so basically you have to go to the PayPal developer option and create a sandbox account so once you can set some dummy amount and uh, then you can create a sandbox account so then uh, you'll find in PayPal dashboard you'll find you know restful API's uh, you can create an app for uh, doing all this stuff so just create your app and choose the developer action, developer account and make sure you choose the like you know the business account and mostly these APIs works for the PayPal business account uh, try to check with that and then uh, once it got the you are like once it got created the API uh, application it will come with the sandbox and live so right now I'm showing the sandbox thing in live you will find the same credentials like client id and secret number everything so this is what our project structure is right now so this is what the project structure and basically this is what the configuration file so here uh, it's all uh, database change like you know database configuration details and the base url everything and here like you know mm, i'm just created a, a small uh, key for like you know setting up like production or uh, production or sandbox if you make it one it will become a production because based on this key uh, everything it will take because if I select like you know zero it will go to the sandbox option if it is uh, live just add the live details here and it will go to live PayPal this is actually sandbox thing this is a uh, real one actually so just change control from here and this is a small function for connecting PDO for MySQL and then I created a small class uh, this actually do all the process uh, this class like you know it's uh, everything is a single uh, different functions in a class like public functions like this is for a user login and uh, it will check username and password and it will convert into a encryption and it will see if the valid or not then if it is there we are setting up the session ID this session id like we need to include everywhere wherever you want to do the process you have to include the session page if you see the home page everywhere uh, in the process everywhere it will check the session basically what the session is like you know it will check the session is available or not if not it will redirect to the uh, index page 
and if you go to the logout we are just emptying the session value that's it so and back to the class uh, this is what the class and this is our simple functions like you know get all products select stars from products like the same database thing and sometime if it is required uh, and we are passing the product id and get the information so um, come to the diagram like so the first action is this because mostly like uh, the paypal express checkout yeah uh, okay i'll go to, through the process like this is what the login page basic login page once it's got success it will go to the home page what the home page is going to do is it is going to pull all the products get all products and it will display it and loop it and display it and every order has a link dynamic link it's basically with a product id uh, make sure like you know maintain the security and friendly url this is just a demo that's why i made it this way and once you click on the order like uh, if you see the demo and uh, go to the home page so we are here now and when you click on the order it will go to the checkout page so that is what the checkout page is yep so and the checkout page is like you know it will come with uh, and again it will pull the product details and based on the get product details uh, and here we are actually maintaining the paypal button so the paypal button is common so this is what the paypal button is generated here so how this will generate is like this is a, a simple javascript you will find this in a paypal developer forum or somewhere so here i'm just a uh, dynam i made it little dynamic because based on the key in the config so this key and we can switch it off like you know switch between uh, sandbox and uh, and the live so that's why like it's easy way and here i'm just pulling the paypal client id for uh, sandbox and the production id if the key changing this value is also going to change so this is what actual thing and once it authorizes it comes here once payment completed from paypal so this is what the process dot php here we are paypal is sending us the payment id and player id pay i mean payer id and token and the product id so here this is mostly is a client side maybe people can change the values so that's why we need well before we creating an order like we need to cross verify it so that's why i what the process is doing is like we'll get all these information i am cross verifying it is these things are right or not because maybe uh, because for two for 200 dollar they made it to 2 dollar and make they made a payment and do the process sometime because it's mostly client side so that's what i did this so basically it will go to payment check the payment check need all these information so if you see the class uh, there is a payment check this is basically curl uh, php curl here we are making the api calls so here we are getting the payment id and pid i mean package id and player id and payment token so this is not required actually and here we are getting the payment uh, you know paypal client and secret basically from the config so what happening is here we are uh, we know the payment uh, paypal base url from here if it is a sandbox is this if not this one so here what will happen is it will try to get the token first this token is very important to communicate with the payment details or something so once this got successful you will get the uh, payment id here in the JSON response of this. So this is what the access token. This using this access token again, we are accessing one more uh, uh, like payment API with uh, what we got the payment ID. So this payment ID it will give you the actual information how much you exactly paid. Like so all this information like how much they paid in total and currency and what is a final and all the information you'll get it here and then i'm just making the what we have a product id the product id and i'm getting the details of the product id and again i'm comparing that the total amount and what we have in the database it's matched or not the subtotal and the same with currency also matters so 
if it is a USD, I'm checking USD again and the price. And this is what one more cross verification. And once this is done, I'm just, uh, you know, like updating the order. It is like simple, like just inserting an order, like, uh, like what user ID, what is a foreign key, if it is a session, if it is a session. So this is what the tutorial basically, uh, hope, hope you like it. So basically I just want to show the details. This is what the user generally, the password stores here. If you want, you can create a number of users here. I didn't create the sign up. You can create it in the class and the products like here, are the two products and, uh, and the orders like, you know, these are the orders and this is what the payment ID. And so this is what we are using to cross verify it. And once it got created, like this order and what is a product and what is a user ordered it and we are storing it. That's it. Hope you like it. Uh, try the new tutorial. I'm going to publish it now. Thanks.